garage so I'm gonna make this as fast as possible so it has been three days since my episode with Martha gets down and dirty aired and I just wanted to share how I felt how I still feel and then I'm gonna watch the video and give my reaction yes I have watched it already I have probably watched it over 20 times but i'm gonna watch it again and i'm probably gonna watch it tomorrow and tuesday and wednesday wednesday night thursday and then again on friday so yeah okay so quickly if you know me like i said you know that i am obsessed with martha stewart she is everything that i want to be when i grow up so if you were to combine half beyonce half martha stewart that is the woman that I work towards being every day. Like, a perfect combination of both women. Probably more so Martha than Beyonce. <laughs> because, um, yeah, she just... To some people, she's just an old white lady that cooks, cleans, and crafts. And that's me. I just happen to be 29 and black. Uh, I'm always home. I love to be home. Uh, I don't ever want to leave home. <laughs> I love to cook, I love to clean, I love to craft, I love to make, I love to create. That's me, that is what I do. And I think everybody who knows me knows that. So, with that being said, every year, I put Martha Stewart on my vision board. Uh, I am a vision boarder. Like, do not play with me. I am the vision board queen. My phone is always about to die. Okay, so yeah, um, right here, you can see her. So this was my 2018 vision board, or was it 2017? One of them, I don't know. But I put a picture of her doing a television segment. And that same year, I ended up doing television segments and being on television for the first time. That shit kind of blew my mind. Cause I was like, what? Like that happened? That's crazy. And so there I was sitting up on television looking just like Martha Stewart doing a segment in a television studio. So that was 2017, 18, I don't really remember. And then this year, of course, I will show y'all the one from last year, but I can't find it actually. I do know where that vision board is. I'm gonna talk about that in a different video. Uh, okay, so yeah. This is Martha right there. Wait, okay, with all the checks around it, yep. Okay, so this year I put her on my vision board because I said, you know what? I keep saying that I wanna be Martha Stewart. Uh, I want to do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. This year, I'm done dreaming about it, I'm done talking about it. And we're just gonna get the ball rolling full steam. So that is why she's on my board this year. Every day that I wake up and my eyes pop open, she is one of the first things that I need to see because subconsciously I need to be working towards that all day, every day. So. That is how she ended up on my vision board this year. Well, not how, because she was going to end up on my vision board regardless. But that is <laughs> why she's on my vision board this year. Um, and so for something like this to happen, it's very surreal and very crazy. And in December of last year, I did a live segment with Plaid Crafts. And I remember telling my friend, I was like, girl, this is crazy. Like, I'm in the same studio, well, the same headquarters slash studio, where they produce Martha Stewart's craft supplies. Like, that's crazy. Like, 
that's crazy. I cannot believe I'm here. And so I posted and I said, I'm working with Plaid Crafts, which means I'm one step closer to being friends with Martha Stewart. Give me another year and I'm gonna make it happen. And so for it to happen within seven months in the way that it did, y'all, I'm still kind of shook. I gotta act like I've been somewhere before and act like I'm not, you know, too impressed, but I am. <laughs> I am, like it still has not really sunk in. But anyways, um, yeah. So when the show called me, I was like, who is this? I have been in contact with multiple shows Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't really get my hopes up a lot. So when this production company called, I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And I didn't even know who it was or what it was at first. So when I gave them all my information, they called me the second time. And they was like, all right, we do want to move forward with, with you. Oh, it's a mosquito with some type of fly. They were like, okay, yeah, we want to move forward with you. Um, so Martha, before she could even get the second part of Martha Stewart's name out, I already knew who she was talking about, and I damn near almost dropped the phone. So I was like, what? Who? You said what? Huh? <laughs> and so, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, let's move forward. Let's do it. Y'all, I was dying on the inside. <laughs> like, I was like, what? What? Like... Who did I call right after? I don't know, but I know I made at least three phone calls. So when I found out that it was actually Martha Stewart's show. So yeah, it was very random. I did not go looking for this opportunity. They came to me, they reached out to me and apparently they, they had like reached out to a bunch of people, but for some reason they chose me. And this is why I believe in the power of vision boarding. If you know me, you know, every year without fail, I make a vision board. I cannot function throughout the year without my vision board. I truly believe in them. So, uh, I can't say how it happened, but why it happened is because I put what I wanted down on the board. I made it not necessarily real, but I visualized it and I materialized it on the board. So I think writing a goal down or printing out a picture of your goal is the first step in making it come true. So yeah. Some people call it manifestation. I'm not a big manifestation word user i believe in it but i don't believe in it i can do a whole different video about that but um yeah uh we were just attracted to each other i guess it was just supposed to happen uh maybe like four years ago i did a martha stewart photo shoot uh well it was my very first round of branding pictures and i wanted to be martha stewart-esque so I posted the pictures and I tagged her and she liked my picture. So this is not the first time that we have come across each other in such a way. She has liked my picture before. Um, there is something else I can't necessarily remember. But anyways, it's hot. Let me wrap this up. So I'm gonna watch the video. And like I said, I have watched it 20 times, but I'm gonna watch it again. And yeah, let's get into it. Alright. So this is the part of the show that I really love. It's a uh, doer trying to impress me. Will Bianca White, age 29, from Atlanta, Georgia, be able to impress Martha Stewart? <laughs> so that's the part I keep playing and that's the Part that I keep rewinding. I just like to hear her say my name. Be able to you were trying to impress me. I'm gonna play that one more time. Bianca White, age 29 from Atlanta, Georgia. Be able to impress Martha Stewart. Well, let's see. That's crazy. 
that is crazy and it still has not sunk in like that shit is crazy okay anyways moving on i have the perfect way for any local gardener first of all shout out to apollo for <laughs> photo bombing my video i have no idea where he came from uh and he just was like yeah you see it yeah i'm about to be in this to get their seedlings to grow fast without much care and a plastic look how sis is smiling at me greenhouse so i have watermelon seeds right here look how sis smiling at me yes okay and then you want to oh you're not even gonna read this watermelon seeds are delicious when roasted and contain nutrients such as zinc and magnesium and this watermelon seeds are delicious when roasted and contain nutrients such as zinc and potassium y'all i've been so obsessed with just watching her face i never even saw this part so now i need to roast some watermelon seeds so i can get the zinc and potassium out of them i am not a big watermelon eater but i am gonna do this it's about one fourth to half an inch drop your seed in let's talk about my nails <laughs> when they said we need video footage of you uh listen i was like i have no time to spare i'm not going to the nail salon to get my nails filled in i just i'm not i will not risk not meeting martha stewart i will just do this right now without nails uh being filled in they do look rough <laughs> they do look very rough um <laughs> But I don't care. It doesn't matter. Lightly with the soil. Take the cup. Set it in the box. Let's also talk about the pimple that decided to pop up on my head out of nowhere on my forehead. I cannot remember the last time I had a breakout. Um, I mean, genuinely, honestly, cannot remember the last time I had a freaking breakout. And on this particular day. A big ass pimple just decided to pop up in the middle of my forehead i tried to push it in i tried to ice it down i tried to put all type of ointment on it and it was like yeah no we're gonna be in this video right along with your dog and your unfilled nails and i was like okay well we still gonna do this so yeah hair stringy hair not done the idea of making a small greenhouse out of a uh, store bought bin is a very, very good idea. If they can see the watermelons once you get them, congratulations, Bianca. I'm impressed. My sis, my very godmother said that she's impressed on me, y'all. That is so crazy. So, yeah. Needless to say that I am on cloud nine and will continue to be on cloud nine. I don't care how short the shit was. It could have been 0.5 seconds, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm grateful. I am over the moon. You could not have paid me to think that this is how my goal if you will we have come to life for this year um so yeah yeah so i just wanted to look at it and share how i felt um i'm excited about the rest of the year because like i said i did put her on my board this year because i said yeah it's a wrap let's get it done let's just go ahead and step into our full martha stewartness this year and get the ball rolling so that was just confirmation that i am on the right track and that i am aligned with my god given purpose so i am going to work hard as fuck for the rest of the year um until i finish accomplishing all of my goals that are listed on that board and until i become her or she becomes me um and yeah so happy sunday 
and happy Monday, upcoming Monday. I hope everybody has a great week. I encourage you to create a My camera cut off. I'm bad. Anyways, I encourage you to create a vision board. If you don't want to create a vision board, you don't have the patience to, please write down your goals. Write down your goals and put them in front of your bed. Put them on the mirror in the bathroom. Put them somewhere that you have to pass by every day and you have to see it. Like even if it's on your front door when you walk out of your door every morning, do that. Put it on the dashboard in front of your car. And I promise you, without you even doing much work, things will align. So that is my encouragement. I hope everybody has a great week. Please subscribe to my channel. I hate a subscribe to my channel face as person, but here I am <laughs> telling y'all to subscribe to my channel. So please subscribe. I have a lot of stuff that I am working on and I would love to share with you guys. And yeah, thank you to everybody who congratulated me and thank you to everyone who was happy, if not happier than me. Y'all did make me cry. I'm going to print out all the DMs and all the text messages that I got and I am going to glue them onto, well, I'm not gonna glue them. I'm gonna take them <laughs> onto a wall somewhere so that I can read them every day so that on days when I don't feel like doing shit, I can remember that, you know, other people believe in me and it'll make me want to keep going. So thank you to everybody who told me congratulations, big hugs. I appreciate you. And if you want to support me, the best way that you can do that is by clicking subscribe. Peace.